Pajama Party! Hey, it's Ashley. Hey, it's Brie. 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 Hey, it's I, if you know my channel, you know that I do beauty as well and I talked about my foundation routine and I told people I have really dry skin and so foundation is key when you have dry skin except I like to use tinted moisturizer instead. It's lighter, it has SPF, it's, it's just so much better. It makes your skin a, a lot more natural looking mm -hmm. and dewy as opposed to like matted Caked down. on. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So I use Sephora. It's got SPF 20, it's just a generic Sephora brand tinted moisturizer. I think it's about $28. Uh, it's huge, it's like a little pump. That's awesome. Yeah, a little bit goes a long way. I love it so much. I, I really don't, see, I mean, you don't really need to spend a lot of money on stuff like this. If you go to the drugstore and get it, it's great. Just generic anything, it's totally fine. It, I think if you're gonna spend money on something, it should be like a, a powder or a primer. Mm -hmm. uh, those are the most important things. I also have like this generic concealer from Sephora and I actually spent more money on this Bare Minerals. <gasps> oh yeah, you see that. Yeah, I see I that. I only that's use this if I'm filming or if I feel like my skin is too dewy like to go outside like because the, the moisturizer makes it a little bit dewy, dewy yeah. which I like. Yes, yes. please. <laughs> also, this stuff is really good on your skin. Like mm -hmm. it's all like organic products. Mm -hmm. Like that bare minerals is. And you have awesome. to use like, very little, and yeah. it just covers your face really yeah. well. Yeah, it also has SPF in it, and uh, not only that, but I, I just love it. You can leave it on overnight. Not that you should, but this, if you're just using this it's not gonna hurt your skin. That's awesome. Well, my favorite tinted moisturizer, I got it as a sample from Laura Mercier. Actually, Tess and I uh, use the same one. And I love this one because it also has SPF 20, and so it protects you from sunburn and oh, skin cancer, I suppose. And it's very lightweight, so I use it because it's a lot lighter than foundation, and you feel like, oh, I want some moisture, and I want a little bit of tint to my skin and make it all even, mm -hmm. so I use this. So why do you like it? I like it because it feels like your skin, like a lot of times if you use like heavy foundation I know like for uh, film and stuff a lot of times they put like heavy like HD makeup on you and in real life it does not look very good and this stuff lets your skin like breathe it doesn't feel like your skin is like eh, suffocating and um, and also Jess Cabello uses it. I read, that. Yes. I read that in a magazine. So technically, probably Justin Timberlake likes that. Exactly. And, probably and, eats and it you know, I like I like using tinted moisturizer before I put foundation on if I'm shooting something and yeah. I really want my skin to look mm. flawless. So I use this, and sometimes I use a tinted sunblock as well, and then I put foundation, and then it's perfect. Oops. Uh, and I only used actually tinted moisturizer today, so this is not not foundation or anything. Looks and good. And you have so a beautiful natural like dewy look it's beautiful it looks like you just did a lap yes You're sexy yes Your face is ready to go and you know it and you just you know go also out is it shimmery or is that did you put like some shimmer blush on oh i put the blush on yeah. okay yeah it's mm -hmm. really pretty yeah it is good. Really pretty blush. and i have one more thing can i tell about yes. this this is my this is expensive and <laughs> so i only use it once in a while, but it's amazing. If you have to look really good for something, it's under eye concealer by Makeup Forever. Mm -hmm. And a little bit goes a really long way. And I have a funny, like, little weird bump on my nose. You know. I do. No, it's sideways. See, I have a funny nose. Me too. So what you do? Yeah. So we should share yeah. this. Okay. So, so what, what do you do? do? You do? I put I just also put this on here and it like for some reason makes Oh, it's like the illusion yeah. of not a funny nose. Mm -hmm. No, well you don't have a funny nose. You look so eye. beautiful. Look at her eyes. I wish I we could talk about like mascara right now. That's that's gonna be a different episode. Yeah, um, so yeah, fair. so that's our little tips on tinted moisturizer. So let us know in the comments below what other products you wanna see on the show and also who you wanna see in my bed. I mean, on my bed. Whoops. <laughs> and yes. are we getting in? Cause I'm ready. <laughs> yes. I'm ready to go. Quick tip, by the way, this is an exclusive that you're not gonna hear anywhere else. Oh, okay. So I don't like to spend a ton of money on makeup, but a lot of stores don't give you samples 
but Nordstrom does. <gasps> they actually have Super Sample Saturday, I believe. Every Saturday, if you go to Nordstrom, they give out free samples of stuff. And to be completely honest, I was using that tinted moisturizer. Mm -hmm. I was literally using it and I love it, but it's expensive. So I, I would go to Nordstrom every Saturday and they fill up a jar of it for you. And I would just go in every Saturday, or really? well, not every Saturday, because it lasts a amazing. really long time. Um, Good they gave tip. me like three jars of it. So if you have, if you really want to spend, if you're gonna spend some money and invest in something like that, which is a good idea, you should really know what you're putting on your skin. So get some samples first and oh test it out. So I know where I'm yeah. going on Saturday. Yeah, <laughs> their Nordstrom is the best. They'll, they'll do anything for you. Thank you, that's awesome. So take a note of that. So don't forget to like and favorite this video if you like the episode, it really helps the channel grow. And I'll see you guys next time. Catch! Bye! I'm making everyone do moosh faces. I'm doing it with my concealer. <laughs> moosh. Bye! <laughs>Drew Kaplan and it was in seventh grade and we were going out for two months and I was really I was like let's just get it done I really want to have my first kiss <laughs> so I went up to him in passing period and I was like I have something for you close your eyes and he was like okay close his eyes and he just went and then, I, and then he opened his eyes and I turned around and I walked to class oh and and ever <laughs> since he's been in love with her and waiting for her to call him back <laughs> Yep. So there's no tongue, nothing like, oh my god, it was so wet and gross. Not for my first, like, pet kiss. Okay. We, made, we did make out on a bus, though. That was my first make out with Drew Kaplan. Mm. I'm a one-man type of girl. Hey, yeah. Drew. Hey, hey. It's like a run by smooching. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. That's, what about you? My first kiss was with a guy named Phil Stephanie. Oh and, God. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a guy name. and a girl, but it's really just a guy named Phil Stephanie, and he was really little and so cute. And um, I hope he was not, not a this. child, was he? He was not a child. Okay. Well, he, we were both in sixth grade. I was in sixth grade. I'm counting this as my first kiss because it was my first like kiss with like mm -hmm. tongue. Mm -hmm. um, we were like out. It was recess, and we were with another couple who would like. Who were very advanced and had like already gone to like I don't even know how many bases <laughs> and um, and I they kept pressuring us they were like come on you guys you have to make out you've been going out for like three weeks and I was like okay okay mm -hmm. and um, and so we like kissed and smooched and stuff and then later I told my friends that I thought he had a loogie and he broke up with me Aww. I didn't even really know what a loogie was <laughs> I definitely thought I had mono immediately after I made out with him I was like mom I have mono <laughs> I still She's don't like, know no. what any of those things are what is mono that? is a kissing disease. Mono, okay, mono and you. I did end mono? up getting it. Actually. A loogie. Yeah, what is a loogie? I a think booger. it's like... Oh. Like phlegm in your throat. <laughs> it was just wetter than I imagined. That's so yeah. gross. Thank you for sharing, Tess. Yeah. Ew. Yeah. He well, put his loogie in your mouth. <laughs> I was exaggerating a little. I think I was trying to impress my girlfriend. I think every time you kiss for the first time, I think everyone feels the same thing. Because it was the same for me, where I was like, whoa, I felt like I was swimming in the ocean. What was that? Ew. Gross. <laughs> Mine was, was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it was freaking perfect. It was. I'm just kidding.